As humans look to the stars, we have made countless discoveries that only help to demonstrate how little we truly know about the universe that surrounds us. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be going over four mysterious space discoveries that will have you second-guessing everything that you thought you knew about our universe and work to uncover what new emerging theories might be speculating in the meantime. Hollow Moon On November 14th, 1969, in an attempt to better understand the makeup of the moon, NASA placed multiple seismic readers across its surface and then soon launched a lunar space module on a collision course for the moon. The idea behind this theory was to allow the lunar module to strike the moon with such a dramatic force that it would send reverberations and specific frequencies throughout the entire core of the moon and allow the seismic readers to capture this data and help to accurately map out the inside of the moon. What they soon discovered was baffling. Original theories and hypotheses had suggested that these reverberations would not last longer than a minute, given that the surface of our moon is covered in mostly basalt, which would work to absorb these reverberations and, given its extensive presence, was believed to make up the majority of the mantle of the moon at this time. It was mathematically calculated to prevent the seismic activity from lasting for a prolonged period of time. However, as the lunar module struck the moon, the entire celestial body began reverberating for over an hour. NASA scientists describing its reverberations similar to that of a church bell ringing. There is still no reasonable hypothesis for the cause of this today and no further information can be gathered given NASA's lack of future missions to the Moon. The most legitimate theory available at this time comes from the works of Russian researchers Michael Vassin and Alexander Shabakov that had posited the artificial Moon theory. They began to notice that the craters of the Moon, regardless of the impact size or diameter, all equaled out in depth. They also noted that these craters generally had very shallow and flat interiors and in other areas even containing convex bottoms. They hypothesized that meteors are hitting an armored hull underneath the basaltic surface of the moon, preventing further depths into the celestial body and believing the moon to be a possible spaceship created by a complex alien life. This theory was only reinforced as the mathematics for the Moon and its density became an apparent issue. Given its size, location, and theorized general makeup, the Moon should have a density of roughly 5.5 grams per cubic centimeter. However, given its orbital path and overall physics, we find the Moon to only be 3.3 grams per cubic centimeter, causing the Moon to be significantly less dense compared to our Earth despite theories of the Moon's creation coming from the materials of the Earth. Reinforcing facts also soon began becoming connected to the strange anomalous properties of our Moon. The Moon is too big to have naturally been caught into the orbit of our planet. For comparison, our Moon is 2,159 miles in diameter, whereas the largest Martian Moon is merely 14 miles in diameter. This has led to a wide array of debates among the scientific community as to its formation and even recreations and simulations of impact theory have proven ineffective and mathematically implausible as to the formation of our moon. Strange coincidences have also occurred. Our moon has the perfect diameter at the perfect distance to create a perfect solar eclipse. The odds of this naturally occurring are astronomical and have led to further questions as to the viability of our moon naturally forming. ESA Largest Star Map Ever Created Back in December of 2013, the Gaia Observatory mission was launched with the goal of collaborating with scientists all over the world to gather scientific data concerning stars and large celestial bodies being tracked within the Milky Way galaxy. The effort began with the goal that as data is collected over the coming years, the gathered information would allow scientists to create a working map of the galaxy that would involve incredible detail and placement. Today, more than seven years since the project began, the ESA Director of Science claimed that 
the observations collected by Gaia are redefining the foundations of astronomy. As a complete galactic image involving more than 1.7 billion stars was compiled. This new image is the largest star map to have ever been created and will only continue to grow over the coming years as more funding and effort into the star map is supported as technology betters and research grows. Right now, Gaia scientists are hoping that the new star map will help to reveal anomalous bodies and perhaps work to better explain the dark matter problem with our current model of our Milky Way galaxy. Exoplanets located in TRAPPIST-1 Discovered within the TRAPPIST-1 system that made headlines from all around the world, TRAPPIST-1d was one of the many exoplanets found orbiting a star very similar in heat and size to our own Sun that led many research scientists to believe that many of the planets orbiting around the Sun to be Earth-like habitable planets and ideal for future colonization of a solar system. The most exciting prospect of this discovery was not only the planets, however, but rather the distance the system is from our own solar system, being only a mere 39.6 light-years away from us, making it an interstellar neighbour with a much easier point of access. In fact, previous efforts in developments of space technologies such as that of the Orion nuclear-powered spacecraft could see the journey to the TRAPPIST-1 system met in as little as one generation of passengers and accomplished in a short 60 years. This very well means that efforts could be started right now to begin interstellar colonization with current space technologies without any additional stress of developments already being performed. The TRAPPIST-1D planet in orbit around the Sun-like star of the TRAPPIST system also appears to be cooler than that of our own Earth and far richer in composition of precious metals, a rocky surface, a low gravity for easy takeoff, and an atmosphere filled with dense water vapor for colonization efforts. However, given the planet's size, mass, and density, it is theorized to have a weak electromagnetic field which would not help to shield colonization efforts from damaging cosmic radiation, similarly seen on our neighboring planet Mars. But even if the planet turns out to be incompatible with future colonization efforts once the passengers arrive at their destination, it can easily be cannibalized for resources to build megastructure bases capable of supporting human life and assist in the efforts of terraforming and colonizing the other neighboring planets nearby. The closest neighbor to the TRAPPIST-1D planet, TRAPPIST-1C, is seen as the best candidate for future human colonization efforts that require next to no additional research developments in the realm of colonization. The short distance of the interstellar neighbor, along with all the raw resources that can be gathered by the neighboring planet, is only the first bullet point as to why TRAPPIST-1C is a prime candidate for colonization. Back in 2016, researchers found that the planet has a temperature that is very similar to Earth with a maximum surface temperature of 140 degrees Fahrenheit, a temperature similarly seen in areas on Earth such as Death Valley. Additionally, TRAPPIST-1C has a gravitational force that is 97% equal to that of Earth's gravitational forces, making it habitable for long-term endeavors without risk to the health and wellness of colonizers, as well as a mass large enough to support a strong electromagnetic field that can shield colonizers from deadly cosmic radiation. This makes it a prime environment worthy of colonization efforts as the size, atmosphere, electromagnetic field, and mass of the planet seem to be an almost perfect mirroring of our very own planet. Recent research also believes the planet to have a rich atmosphere of water vapor that could potentially see the planet slightly cooled enough to have surface temperatures similar to that of Earth. Water found on the Moon Scientists have often attempted to theorize the contents of the Moon as well as its surface materials ever since the beginning of the Cold War space age and efforts to retrieve lunar material were made. There was hope that the Moon would prove to be a far more capable life-bearing body as it is the closest celestial body to our home planet. However, evidence retrieved from the Moon after the original Moon landings proved that estimates could not be more incorrect at this original assumption. Unlike our planet, the Moon is not protected by a magnetic field of any kind and is constantly bombarded by a significant amount of helium-3 as a product of solar wind radiation. 
It is this constant bombardment that would lead to the lack of any life-bearing developments on the moon of any kind, including any attempt at finding naturally occurring water on the surface of the moon. However, recent satellite imaging has provided what the National Aeronautics and Space Administration has referred to as unambiguous data that shows evidence of large reservoirs of water on the surface of the moon. The satellite evidence, published in the September 25th issue of the journal Science, provided details that residing deep in lunar craters that are permanently shadowed from solar radiation, there are large pockets of ice that could store enough water to allow for the establishment of permanent lunar bases. The existence of these ice craters provides evidence that the water molecules on the moon are incredibly mobile, allowing them to find their way to the craters and pooling at the bottom. In fact, planetary geologist Carl Peters claimed if the water molecules are as mobile as we think they are, even a fraction of them, they provide a mechanism for getting water to those permanently shadowed craters. This opens a whole new avenue of lunar research, but we have to understand the physics of it to utilize it. Not only does this discovery have profound implications for lunar research and planetary geology, but it provides enough evidence and support for the establishment of lunar colonization that could see itself in use within the next few decades, as NASA has been working on their Moon to Mars mission that will use our orbital satellite as a launching point for rocketry and further colonization of the Martian surface. But what do you all think of these incredible advancements in the modern age surrounding the developments of future space missions and the National Aeronautics and Space Administration's push towards colonization efforts? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.